This is the video game review of the Blue Flamingo. It's a um, shmup. Uh, it's really single player, but you can kind of play with friends with the scoreboard. There is a leaderboard in it. Um, you can use a keyboard or controller for the review. I in my in all the time I've been playing, I've been using a um, a controller. One thing that's really cool about this game is you can see it looks real because it was. Um, they used uh, like a 32 foot model, I think they said, of the backgrounds, and they used actual real models for everything in the game. Um, even the explosions and stuff are fireworks and firecrackers that they they blew up in order to show that it's a real explosion. It's kind of neat. It's very um, it's unheard of nowadays. There was a few games back in the day, like Clay Fighter and such, that you that did that. But nowadays, I guess it's just too much money or too hard to do it. People just don't do that anymore. I like the look of it. I mean, it just looks really cool. It's different. However, the gameplay is severely lacking. This is the first stage I'm showing you here in the game. You can see the enemies are kind of just, just working you into the game. You kind of build up. But the game doesn't add enough to, um, to really make it stand out. Um, the enemies, like these same enemies you see here, you'll see them constantly in the further stages. Perhaps they'll jump, uh, no they won't jump, I'm sorry, they'll, they'll come in at an angle, or they'll come in with more of them, but there's really no challenge, per se. Uh, you'll see on the bottom left is your health, every time you get hit that kind of, that bar will fill up with more red. And in the middle is your money. That's the, the economy system they have in the game is at the end of every stage, you're able to purchase upgrades. And those upgrades you can either can make your ship shoot more bullets, uh, your bomb, which is like your special power, does more damage, or you can your ship. Uh, if you're going to do anything, you definitely do the damage because later on, things take a couple bull bullets. And you just want to be able to kill them really quick. Uh, and, and ship speed's really good too. I, I never really use the bomb. You can use it because it does destroy everything in the board. However, to get really far, I don't feel that you necessarily need that as much as um, increased firepower. Back to the game, you can see there's some different enemies here in the first stage still. Um, and you will see them, like I said, in every stage from this point on. There is almost um, no variety. There's a, there's a couple newer enemies. However, they don't. there's no bosses. There's no mini bosses. There's, um, the, the, the way they increase the difficulty in this game is, you know what, they say, hey, you know what, this guy's in level 7, let's throw 30 things at him at once. And that's uh, not a challenge that I'm, I like so much because of the game, the way the game is designed, it becomes difficult to see what is shooting you and what's coming at you and what you're actually shooting at. While it looks pretty, that is a hindrance on your ability to complete the game, to do well in the game. You can see here, this is the end of level one, and you're able to upgrade your gun or your bomb. And you also have an interest rate. What you'll get, you'll get 10% extra back at the completion of the next level. Um, it does as, it does tempt you to you know hang on to that money till the end of the next stage, because you'll get a little bonus. However, I do recommend if you have the cash and you to spend it. Uh, later on, enemies take, you know, six bullets, and whereas if you don't upgrade your firepower, you're gonna be really hurting. Uh, you'll see this is stage two. It looks just like stage one, it's just dark. Uh, wonderful, I mean, it's um, it's kind of cool, but later on in the stages, you're in seven or eight, it's the same damn thing over and over. It's okay, now it's light, now it's dark, now it's, it's, it's evening. And while I don't know how else you can really um, vary the stage it's really that's all they do the backgrounds don't change enough and you know what i, I could take the bat the backgrounds not changing so much if the freaking enemy if there were more enemies like i just feel so bored because there are only a handful of enemies and the way that they change them is they make them green or orange or they make them come at you in an angle like these guys are as opposed to coming straight in that yet come on i mean as a, as a shmup, if you want to call yourself a shmup and having a score, you have to uh, have different things in it. It's it's not, it's just not fun. You know? The game, I lost my interest maybe an hour in, and I only put that much time in because I felt that I had to put more time into it to give a full review on it. I played the game for about four or five hours. Um, 
after that first hour, it was more like work at that point. Uh, I checked out the leaderboard. The leaderboards are kind of cool, but that's it's a freaking leaderboard. How many how many games have leaderboards? Everything now. So there's nothing really that makes it stand out. Again, this is the blue flamingo. Um, I, I I feel like shmups. It's um I probably stay away from it. It's a fun game, like I said, for the first hour or so. And the art style is what really makes this game different. And it's a shame because the art is awesome. I really wish that more games would do this because it is so different. And it just the visual is the visualization of everything is just so fantastic. It's just it's just the gameplay itself is just lacking. And it's a shame. Anyway, Blue Flamingo, I say pass on it. <laughs>